It's the return, the weekend vlogs. Uh, I'm sorry we haven't really been putting out much content on our channel. It's just, there's not a lot of movies that are coming out right now. Also, I mean, when we did watch Guardians and the re review is up for that. We saw Alien Covenant, the review is up for that. We missed King Arthur and then the next big one I think we're gonna go see is Baywatch. So we're, we're working on it, we're gonna get more content. It's just that we, we both have full-time jobs, that Dustin and I, so um, it just happens to be two weeks that we've been really, really busy, but um, more contents are coming. We're planning to do a live stream for our 10,000 subscribers um, goal. We're hitting, we're, we're passing, I don't know what you want to call it, but we're celebrating that we're going to hit um, 10K. So we're going to do um, like an AMA. We'll have a giveaway and the announcement is coming soon. Date is coming soon. If you have any questions, some of you put it in the comments in the previous vlog video in the uh, Visiting YouTube Space vlog. So thank you for that. If you have any questions you'd like to ask Dustin and I, um, just go ahead and put it down in the comment section below, hashtag AMA, so we know to pull those. Um, and again, thank you for those who've already submitted. So I feel terrible because as I was leaving the office, I accidentally stepped on, oops, stepped on um, little Miss Navi's, little, little Miss Navi's paw and she yelped so loud and I felt so, so bad. Um, and she looked like she hated me for like 30 seconds. She hated me. So she stole my hand. She's a little pouty angry. So anyways, I am going to go pick up a package that may or may not have something to do with the giveaway that we're going to run for our uh, 10K subscribers uh, live stream. And then home to Dustin. And then, I don't know, do, do whatever. Probably be boring and sleep. I don't know. We'll see. Just got home and wow, is the apartment hot. Like during the day, since no one's here, uh, usually we turn off the AC so it's not running all day long. But you come back in and your apartment is warmer than it is outside. That's, that's a thing. So I'm trying to cool it down. The dogs are hanging out. They're content. Navi doesn't, she doesn't hate me anymore. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open these packages and see what I got. Well, I know what I got, but I'm gonna share with you guys. So this is nothing new. Uh, basically, it's my uh, contacts from Hubble. And, ow, oh, I almost just broke a nail. That was a really girly thing to say, but I really almost did. It like bent all the way back and it hurt. Uh, just wanna open it to make sure I got the, the right quantity and the right kinds. Um, okay, yep. They are all correct. So there goes that. Uh, I think I'm gonna do like an in-depth review on these contact and this like contact daily subscription service. So um, let me know in the comments if you wear contacts and you wanna see a review on these and I will do one for you. Um, and I remember last time we promised you guys that we we're gonna do a review for uh, 13 Reasons Why that is coming. We're probably gonna shoot it this weekend. I'm sorry it's up late. Everything's hectic. Um, but it's better hectic than nothing happening at all, I guess. So, okay, so I am so excited to let you guys know that for our 10K live stream celebration, we're gonna do uh, giveaways. So we've partnered up with one of my favorite people, one of my favorite t-shirt companies, T No Evil, and that's uh, these guys right here. So we are gonna pick two winners, and the two winners will get a shirt of his or her choice, uh, from their website, so you get to pick out your own shirt and your own size. So none of that like, oh, I really wear a medium, but but you're gonna send me extra large. You know how like when you do giveaways, like that's what you get. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna get um, whatever's available on their website, obviously, and um, get to pick out your own design in your own size. It'll be shipped to your doors. The giveaway right now, it is for US residents only. I'm sorry, international viewers. In the future, we will probably do one that's for international, but for the first one, we wanna go ahead and just um, give it away for our US residents. So the shirts we got, I am very excited. Very, very excited. And there's a note on this, but I'm gonna read it to myself later. But um, I think this one's mine because it feels smaller. So I'm gonna open this one right now. And this is how like the the, the uh, shirts will come in these cute little packages. I love that, it's very unique. This one's Dustin's, so I'll let him open that later when he gets home. But, um, 
So these guys are the coolest, um, and the graphics designs, uh, these are own, their, their own original um, artwork, and their t-shirts, I kid you not, are so super soft. I feel like I just opened the wrong one. Hang on a second. <laughs> well, maybe not. This one does feel larger. Okay, we'll see. But this is a small, okay, so this is mine. Ah, it's a Game of Thrones one! Uh, Bastard's Ale, we know, brewing, winter flavor, and it says Northern King. Oh, this is actually, this is perfect, because, you know, Game of Thrones is coming back soon. I'm going to be rocking this when that comes back. Ah, oh, I love it. I actually, you know what, you guys, this is my first Game of Thrones shirt ever. I mean, I love the show. I read the first book. I'm working on it, okay? I'm going to I'm going to read the rest of them, but it's a lot to absorb. So, um but I actually don't have a Game of Thrones shirt. So, thank you Tino Evil. This is uh my first Game of Thrones shirt and I'm so proud that it's a Tino Evil shirt. So, um with it I also got a a pan or a button and a little sticker that I'm probably going to put on my laptop. Great. And then, oh, it's Harley, guys, with, um, with, uh, a little, her little hammer. That's awesome. I love this. This needs to be a shirt. Tino Evil, is this a shirt? This needs to be a shirt. Can I request that? Uh, that's awesome. So, this is Dustin's, once again, and I will, uh, let him open on camera later. This is a crossbody bag that I've had forever, and just over the years, I've collected various buttons and I just go ahead and the ones that I really like I put them on my little crossbody bag so I can I usually wear this to Disneyland I don't know it's just easy it's light you know um yeah and I so I added these buttons on here it's cool look who's home hey Dusty's home just start by pointing the camera at me <laughs> and that, that. with the feisty Navi oh Navi <laughs> Wendy was just telling me the story about how she was barking at someone today, which is weird because Har Navi hardly ever barks. No, and also she, anytime anybody knocked on the door, she would bark and she would charge <laughs> at the door. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> oh, I you want some belly rubs. Oh, okay. Now, now she's like, rubs? no, I'm home. Do you want some belly rubs? <laughs> Where, where's your ball? Go get your ball. Go get your ball, Navi. Wait. Where Go is it? it? Go get it. It's right there. She's got it. She's Come like, here. Yeah, get the ball. Oh, you got the ball. So it's my turn to open up my shirt from Tino Evil. I love their packaging. I think it's really cool. I have to admit. I've never seen a shirt company that does that. Not that I buy a lot of shirts online. Oh, okay. Oh, well, first, you got the awesome button. Is that the Harley Quinn one? Yeah, it is Harley Quinn. And the balloon's a joker. It's cool. Oh, it is? Uh-huh. Oh, so it's, oh, yeah, it's got right. Smile. I didn't see the smile on there. And I got... Oops, it's upside Oop, down. Upside down. Oh! <laughs> Instead of Fight Club, it's Punch Club. You know, that's the One Punch oh, Man. One Punch Man? Which you and I just watched a trailer for not so long ago. Oh, yeah. It looked so weird. Because it's, like, supposed to kind of like a parody of, of the other animes that are out there. Yeah, that's what I heard. Because I... That it's supposed to be very, very, um... What is that called? Satire. Satire-ish. I remember there was a scene where one of them did, like, a transformation. And it was very a la Sailor Moon. Uh-huh. And it made me laugh, so I guess now we have a reason to really get into the series. To actually watch One Punch Man? <laughs> yeah, because I think it's getting really popular. Yeah, I think a lot of it's becoming... Uh, I know there's a lot of things being posted about it. Yeah. So it's really starting to seep in to the pop culture icon. Yeah. Uh, you guys know how we've been making Blue Apron, and sometimes the prep is easy, other times it's a little bit more advanced. So tonight we thought we'd just, you know, make some... Basically, we're just heating up food, in a sense. From Trader Joe's. From Trader Joe's. It's supposed to be much easier, and Dustin and I both effed it up. So yeah. we're, we're, we're still waiting because we went to, like, take out the meatloaf. We're having meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and corn, and we took the meatloaf out of the oven, and we cut it open, and the knife couldn't even... 
slice all the way through because it's still frozen solid. And I was like, wait to follow the directions, guys. Yeah. Yep, we, but we can cook Blue Apron like pros. So. Oh, yeah. But reheating frozen food, that's where we go wrong. No can do. But apparently that was the big thing, is that I wasn't supposed to put them into the refri into the freezer. So, oops. But, you know, like, the thing is, when you buy something and then you're like, okay, well, I'm not going to eat, I, I don't know when I'm going to eat this to keep it fresh, you put it in the freezer. So I think it's a habitual, like a habit thing. And then neither one of us bothered to check the label on it. Like, it, it, it didn't say thaw, you know, before cooking because it wasn't meant to be frozen. But anyways, it just... It said keep refrigerated. Yeah, we just kind of didn't keep an eye on it. But whatever, it's, it's going to cook. It's going to be fine. It's just meatloaf. Everything else is done. So we're just going to hang out and wait for meatloaf. And chill. Here it is, our twice-baked, uh, once-microwaved <laughs> meatloaf dinner. But whatever, it's going to taste fine. Actually, we, I already tasted it, and it's... It's not bad. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. All right, time to watch some Ninja Turtles. Hey, guys. So, sorry for the vlog last from last night. That ended really abruptly, so I figured instead of making a separate one, I'll just uh, combine Friday night and Saturday into one because it's like a half day now. Anyway, it's like almost noon, so I am outside of my gym. I'm going to take Zumba class. No, I'm not going to take my camera in class with me. It's slightly disrespectful and distracting to the rest of the students in class. But uh, yeah, it's Zumba time and then, I don't know, you just get to come with me on my day. I had to leave my Zumba class early because one, um, it was a substitute instructor today and she started late because I think they had something for the audio, her like mic or her playlist and they didn't have the part she was looking for or something like that. I don't know, we started late so I only took like a 45 minute class which is kind of a bummer because it was actually a lot of fun. It's kind of nice to switch up instructors now and again so you can, you know, have like fresh routines and stuff. But I wanted to um, make sure I got out of class in time to take these pup- Oh, Falcor! You're so cute! Um, to get his kennel cough shot uh, just to keep him updated. He doesn't have kennel cough or anything like that. Just keep him updated. I just don't feel like I do not look cute right now. I came straight from the gym to here so I probably stink. Um, but anyways, I have to get that taken care of because next week for me is very, very busy. I am seeing it, there's Bert, uh, Dustin's very belated birthday dinner with his family, and we're seeing two movies. We're seeing Pirates of the Caribbean 5, and I'm seeing Wonder Woman. I'm so excited. Just like thinking about it makes me want to cry. I know it's really pathetic, but I'm so excited. I'm, I'm seeing all the good reviews uh, via social media, and it just makes me really happy because I've been really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so anyways, okay, now I'm gonna go back home and shower and get myself looking like a regular human being again. Um, and I don't know, okay, so in the in this part of town, there is a church's chicken. Don't make fun, okay? There's a church's chicken nearby, and I, ha I don't eat fried chicken very often. But every time I'm around here, I'm like, I think I'm gonna drive by and just get something little. And I know it's bad, and like, what's the point of going to the gym if I'm just gonna have church's chicken? But uh, I really want their honey biscuit and their chicken, so I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, don't judge me. I'm gonna go get chicken. Thank you. How can you not be excited for fried chicken? Ah, I'm so happy and I got little sides too. Um, I do not recommend my diet to anyone, however. It's like the most unhealthy. <laughs> I mean, it's good most of the time, but uh, there are days where I, I want junk food and I am just, my brain and my body, and everything and the taste buds to say, just go for it. Just go for it. I'm gonna grind it out in the gym later. <laughs> so always important for me, um, if I wanna eat junk food like this, to make sure I, one, drink a lot of water, um, and two, just go to the gym. Sweat it out a little bit, it helps. Look who was begging the whole time. The whole time I was devouring those chicken. Did you get a piece? Did you get any drop, any, any of the crumbs that dropped? Falky. Oh, you're so cute. So we're out in our neighborhood in the next town over and I guess they're having a thing called Monrovia, Monrovia Day. So there's like a giant, didn't even know about it. So we're gonna come back and check it out tomorrow, but for now we're gonna get sushi. Sushi, sushi and, and ice cream. cream. Look how cute these little 
menus are that they I think they made it themselves. Yeah, it kind of looks hand, it looks handmade. Yeah, you gotta support small businesses in your town. Mm -hmm. That's what you get, little charms like this. How's your miso soup? Well, actually, I actually haven't tried the broth yet because oh. it's still really, really hot. I see. I actually burned myself <laughs> with the um, seaweed. Kind of like how the cheese on the pizza goes <laughs> and then burns like this whole part of your face. That's what happened. <laughs> I'm really excited for these. What are these? These are what uh, popcorn lobsters or lobster popcorn? It's it's, something like that. It's baby lobsters that are tempered and fried. I wonder how hot they boys. are. If you try one right now, it's going to burn your tongue. I wonder. Should I try? Be huh. brave. Be brave and try, but I hope you don't burn okay, yourself. Here we go. I'm going to take this one right here because I like the sauce. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh, I can't I, wait to try it. The sauce, the cream sauce on it. So it looks like it's like Japanese mayo. Mm hmm. There's a little bit of spiciness to it, but not much. Mmm. I think it needs just a little bit more sauce, okay. but mm -hmm. it's still really good. Yeah. Like All right. Are you ready to chow down? Yes. Let's do this. See you guys in a second. It's that time of the night. We're just gonna go home and relax, mm -hmm. and I'm not tall enough. Cuddle there. with the puppies. And <laughs> cuddle with the puppies. That's a lot of this. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes when, you, when you're married to a short girl. <laughs> uh, so, you guys, thanks for watching um, our combination of Friday and Saturday, and we'll see you in the next vlog.